Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel, and man, do I need to shave. <laughs> um, today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at the uh, philodendron pink princess cuttings that I took two weeks ago today. We're going to see how those are coming along. I also have a, uh, a couple other different plants that I am propagating in water out here in my kitchen as well. So we'll take a look at those and we'll look at the, um, the mother plant of the philodendron pink princess and see how that is coming along. Um, but I should warn you right now, it's pretty underwhelming. <laughs> So if we come on over here, most of the stuff that I propagate is over here by my kitchen sink window. Um, it's the area in this kitchen that gets the most light. Normally this kitchen would get a lot of light, but we have a deck and then we have a uh, patio thing. So it doesn't get as much light as it would if, if that stuff wasn't there. I also have this empty <laughs> pot just hanging here. I want to get a philodendron mickens to put in there, but I'm having trouble finding one of those right now. But anyway, on to the propagation. So over here we have um, all the stuff that I'm doing right now. The pink princesses aren't really doing much. Let's take a look. So this is one, one of the cuttings. I've got two leaves. It is growing something. Let me get it. Okay, I guess these little aerial roots are growing a little bit. Um, they've been in water for two weeks though. And that's all that I've got so far off of this cutting. Um, I do have it in water and I try to change the water uh, as much as possible. I try to change it at least once a week. I should be changing it once a day, but you know, who's got time for that? An interesting tip, if you are rooting stuff in water and you're not seeing a lot of root growth, throw in a pothos cutting with it because when the pothos roots in water, it gives out uh, special enzymes that promote root growth, and it'll affect the other plants that it's rooting with as well to put out uh, greater root growth. So since I've added the pothos, um, these, little, these little roots here have taken off a lot faster than when they were just rooting by themselves. So that's one. Um, I also have this Monstera cutting that my mom got from my grandma's Monstera. I don't have one of my own. Um, I wasn't sure I had enough light for it, but then my mom came home with this cutting and I was like, well, I'm gonna try it. So it's been in here for probably close to three weeks. It has one aerial root right there that's growing really long and crazy, but that is the only growth, the root growth that I've seen so far. This one too has also grown a lot. <laughs> like it was just a little tiny nub when I first got it and now it's all the way out here. So I don't know if that is growing because of the water that it's in or what but I have that I'll keep that growing until I like the root size for it and then I'll pot it up so here's another one of the pink princess cuttings let's take a look at this one so again um, these little these little roots are growing pretty good you can see one right there you can see one over there so I am pretty like I I'm pretty confident that these will root. Um, it's just a matter of time, I suppose, as it is with most cuttings. You gotta wait a while before before you see any root growth, and I'm very impatient, and I wish that they would just root, like, within a week, and then I could plant them up, but sometimes you gotta wait. So I'm also working on, um, this is a variegated string of hearts. I did have this potted up and in, in the window and it was trailing and stuff, but it wasn't growing fast. I know they're really slow growers, but I decided to put them all on top of the soil to kind of promote more root growth from, from the nodes. So I have that going. This is usually in a, in a sunnier spot. I don't, I don't keep it in this window. I keep it in my bedroom where it gets a lot more sun. I've also got this um, cutting from my big money tree. And I have rooted money tree cuttings um, like this before, but it, the last time that I did this, it took almost three months before I saw any roots. And this one's only been in here for a month. Um, there's still growth in it, there's some new growth coming in, but there's still, there's no, there's no root growth. There's nothing. Oh, well, there's, there's a little, there's some little stuff, I don't know if you can see it, it won't focus. There's, there's some little stuff there, but 
this will definitely take a long time to show any roots. It'll be a long time before it can be potted up. Over here, I have a Maranta cutting, um, which is already showing some roots. I put this in here, put this in here a few days ago, maybe like four or five days ago. It's already got some root growth there. My red Maranta is outside right now. I keep it outside in, in the summer. So I'll just throw these right back in there when they are rooted up nicely. I don't have a pothos with that one, but I have found that red maranta roots really um, readily. So I don't really need pothos for that. Here we have another pink princess cutting. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so there's some stuff there as well. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. All of this is new growth. As soon as I put the pothos in, or when I put the pothos in, rather, there was nothing there. So that's that's a really good sign. I'm very pleased with that. So hopefully I will have a lot of um, pink princess babies that I should give away, but will probably keep. <laughs> let's be honest. Um, okay, let's look at this last one here. Um, this one was the top of the pink princess that I chopped off. And look at that. That one's doing the best. Oh yeah, definitely. That one is doing really well. So this is two weeks. Two weeks of um, of water propagation. And this is, this is what you'll get. Which isn't bad. Not bad. So now here we are in the bedroom. Um, this is where I keep most of my plants. Um, yeah. And I have my pink princess just over here right now. I put it right in the sun to kind of promote some more growth um, because I chopped it up real bad. Um, as you can see, that's where I made the final cut and uh, there's no new growth. Yeah, there's nothing. So I don't know. I don't know if I cut it at the right spot. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's been two weeks, there hasn't been anything. You know, maybe it's just recovering from the shock of being cut down so drastically, because it was pretty big. But yeah, no new growth, which is pretty upsetting. I'm sure it'll get there. I'm sure it'll get there eventually. And it's in a good spot. It's getting a lot of light from, from outside. So it's just a matter of time. As I said, <laughs> I'm not a very, <laughs> I'm not a very patient guy, which is kind of ironic because I really like plants and you gotta have patience if you wanna see uh, plants grow. Even some of the faster growing ones like um, this Hoya Carnosa, um, it, it's pretty fast growing, but it still, you know, takes its time. So we'll just give it some more time and uh, we'll see where it goes. I'll update everyone on the cuttings and, um, and the plant uh, in a couple weeks from now and see if there's any change. And uh, that is really it for today's video. Something super quick, just a little update on um, those cuttings that I did. So stick around. I have a, another plant a week video coming out on Monday. Um, this week it's about burrow's tail, like the, the succulents with the, with the little fleshy leaves. Um, and yeah, I will continue to update everybody on the pink princess cuttings. And uh, yeah, see y'all next time. Thanks again for watching. If you're new to my channel, I post plant videos on Monday and on Friday I post videos about writing or reading or photography or whatever interests that I have. As always, you can find my social media links in the description below. As well, you can find the link to my fantasy series, A Chronicle of Crowns, which is currently out on Amazon. Thanks again. Bye! You know, especially right now during this whole pandemic thing. It seems like you shave one week and then suddenly it's three weeks later and you gotta shave again. And you know what? F*** shaving.